Hello! This is my second time recording this video because I really didn't like the way it came out the first time. So I'll try to make this short and sweet. It is just a little video to show you my kalimbas that I've built and I've customized. Um, I buy these kalimbas as a kit um, from China. The kit comes with six pieces of wood. One, two, three, four, front, back, five, six. And a baggie with the keys and these wooden pieces um, all inside. And you basically have to glue everything together and clamp it and then it's quite jagged and some wood filler is sometimes necessary as well. So you fill in the gaps and you sand it all nice and smooth until you have your lovely box. And then the keys, they, they're screwed on. There's this, this metal bit with screws. Oh, I'm sorry, there is an additional piece of wood on the inside for the screws to bite into. I forgot to tell you that that piece is also included in the kit. So you screw that in and um, these bits can be glued on but they are generally just held on by friction. And um, then the keys slot in and that is really difficult to do. Um, none of the kits I've done have come with instructions. I'm, I keep thinking there must be a better way to get the keys in because it hurts. It is painful getting these keys in and I usually end up having to use a hammer. Um, but yeah. The keys are my least favorite part, but when you're done, what you end up having is a beautiful instrument that is um, fully customized. So yeah, um, obviously I have painted mine. You don't have to. You can just use a bit of wood stain and it will come out looking quite attractive as well. Um, so yes, as I said, just wanted to show off the two that I've made. I've actually made three, but the third I gave away as a birthday gift to a friend. Um, this one I actually made for my daughter for her birthday in May. And it's got her bun bun. As I often say, if you follow me in any capacity, you'll have seen bun bun before. It's a, a, her favorite toy. So I've got her bun bun here. I've got a little Ghibli Totoro guy there. Just kind of created a nighttime scene. It's a little bit Velveteen Rabbit inspired. The design just wraps around, wraps around the bottom and the sides. The back I just made black because I... I didn't know what I wanted to do there and I thought, you know what, it's that'll do the job. Um, it took me a lot of layers, a lot of time to do this. Um, of course, the keys went on last, so this was just as it was a wooden box that I painted it. When the paint was dry, I varnished it with a spray varnish. And, um, I mean, I could have used like a painted on varnish, but... I was afraid of shifting the paint, so a spray was definitely preferable. And then I put the keys on, and um, as I say, the, getting the keys on is really tricky. I might in the future do like a kalimba building video, but I'm not convinced I'm the best person to create something like that, as I've, I've not made too many, and I've struggled every time. Um, so a kalimba, if you don't already know, is a thumb piano. You can see the notes are actually printed on the keys. And um, they sound quite beautiful. That's what attracted me to them. I've only known about them for about a year. And um, I just, the first time I heard one, I think it was in a YouTube video, I couldn't believe how beautiful it sounded. And then I couldn't believe how inexpensive they were. And they're really good for kids because they're sturdy and they can they can manipulate them with their tiny hands. Um, and it they are a bit tricky to tune. These kits will also usually, especially if it's 17 key kalimba, um, they come in usually 10 or 17 keys. Um, I've made both. This is a 17 key one, obviously. They'll come with a little hammer and you tap, tap, tap the bottom and tap, tap, tap the, the, um, the tops and the bottom, sorry. <laughs> and that will help you tune it. I use, a, like, a piano tuner app to tune mine. And I don't know if it's 100% correct because I'm not the most musically gifted. I'm not at all musically gifted, in fact. 
I have zero musical talent, so I rely on the app quite heavily to tell me if I'm doing it right. But I'll just give you a little um, demonstration of how it's played. So that's just a quick little demonstration of Twinkle Twinkle, which is the only song I know by heart. Um, and that's the way it sounds. So yeah, it's a beautiful little project to do if you fancy it. Um, just don't expect it to be easy when you're putting on those keys. Um, so that's kalimba number one. Kalimba number two is actually a 10 key one that I made for my friend. So I'll, I've got a picture of the second one. I made for my friend on my Instagram. I will link my Instagram below, but I do not physically have the kalimba any longer. This is another 17 key one that I created for my grandfather for Christmas, which is why I need to make this video now, because I need to ship this to him all the way in the United States. Um, so yes, another 17 key kalimba. Construction's exactly the same as the other one. On this one, I went with a chickadee design, because my grandfather hand feeds chickadees in his garden and I thought it would be nice. Um, his other loves are, um, or his other main love besides my grandmother obviously who he absolutely worships and adores, is um, trains. Yeah, I could not figure out how to get a train on here in any sort of meaningful way so it was chickadees for me. And as you can see the design for this can't really get it all in frame. Yes, I can. I'll show you how the design just wraps around the whole thing. And I just went with holly leaves because I thought it was it would provide a good contrast. And holly berries. Um, little fatty chickadees. This was a real struggle for me because painting realistic birds is not my strong suit. Not in the least. So... Yeah, this whole thing was a real labor of love. And I really, it even wraps around the bottom and the top. I really hope that he enjoys it. He is extremely musically gifted. He's one of those people who can just pick up any instrument. He's maybe never even seen it before and he can work out how, how it can, um, how he can make it play a tune instantly. He's just that good where he can hear a tune and he can bang it out on something. And, um, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a very gifted man that way. So, and he might even have a kalimba, I'm not sure, but what I do know is that he does not have one that his granddaughter built and painted and customized. So that's his, his kalimba, which I, I will be sending out soon. Um, ooh. <laughs> the third kalimba that I did talk about, um, it's just got like a red to orange sunset design and tree silhouettes in black, silhouettes in black, and then on the front here I made a triple moon and a goddess kind of line art, triple moon goddess, and then I, um, what do you call it, the silver leaf, I applied the silver leaf so it's got like the metallic triple moon and goddess against the the silhouette background and it just wraps around as well. So, labors of love. Every time I make one, I say that's the last one. I'm never doing this again. And then I hold the completed product in my hands and I just go, oh, I want to make another one now. Because it's so satisfying when you've got the finished thing, no matter how much effort went into it, no matter how many tears, and no matter how much it hurts my hands to get these awful keys in place. They sound so beautiful and they are so satisfying to hold. So I say I'll never do one again every time and yet I do another one and I want to do another one and there will be more kalimbas in my future I'm sure. So that's it for now. Um, as I say I might at some point do a construction video but we'll have to see about that. Um, so yeah, that's me. See you later.